Yeah. All right. Hey, everyone, get in this. Get in this. Good for the fans, you know. Wait, wait, wait. Got this. This, this is really stupid. Do you have any food? Um. Yeah. I. I'm, I think I have some leftover from the week in the backpack. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. There's so much garbage in here. Oh, nice. oh my god. Wait. No. 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 Jerry. What is? What is this? Dude. We haven't done is that this our yet. Is AV Lit project? Yeah. Uh -oh. Oh my, oh my goodness. God. Um, oh. when, when is this due? It's due tomorrow. No um, way. Yeah, okay. Well, that doesn't help us at all. Hey, Luis, can you call Aspen? We need to do something about this. All right, quick update for the fans. Been slaving around uh, all day, but I think it's paying off. Hey, Jerry, what do you think? We, we got something here? I have a great vision for this video. It's, it's gonna be fantastic. Awesome. I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, can we see it? Uh, yeah, sure. All right. Where's, how do I, how do I begin here? All right, let's get this. Viewer discretion is advised. Such stories as H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds and Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea have challenged mankind. So today, man is successfully probing deep into the mysteries of the universe. Can he penetrate the greatest mystery of all? Wow, wow, we've got, we've got a great show for you guys today. So, uh, we all in the, here The View recently read a book called The Time Machine by H.G. Wells, and we thought it'd be good to have a public discussion and to kind of get a, a more varied view, you know, from the, the other type. We uh, invited Lil Wayne, our friend here, to uh, discuss no, his opinion. I, I'm not... I'm oh, I'm sorry, it's Michelle Obama. So, you know, sometimes the, the, I, their type. No, I'm not Michelle Obama. Are no, you, no, you know, you you know Denzel Washington. People? No, 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 no. You don't, you look different. I can tell by the, the Denzel look that you're Denzel. Let's you, talk about the time machine. Okay, that was a riveting book, am I right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, okay, maybe he didn't I read it. I don't know his literacy level, but I assume so. Who's in charge here? Yeah, I'm getting. I'm just reading the cards that they give me. Who's? who's it's the right there. Yours in charge. Is, the, that's not approved. No, no, can you sit this, down. Sir? I don't. No, I, this, this is civil is not, unrest. I don't like no, this. Hey, 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 you, hey no, 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 no. Get. What are you? Hello and welcome to Reading Rainbow. I'm Lavar Burton, and today we'll be discussing the Time Machine by H. G. Wells. The Time Machine by H. G. Wells follows many major themes which includes social critiques of capitalism and staunch social Darwinism. I am the time traveler. I, oh, time travel really takes it out of you, especially this old pappy body. But I'm you, the lady from Fandango. What? I'm so mad. Oh my goodness. How could this happen? Let's build it over, dude. Day 37. Oh, okay. I made that much food. Yeah. Order supplies running low. Well. And I'm gonna have to use my time machine to get to the grocery store, pick up some more groceries. Uh, the recent events, uh, we have intercepted what is likely to be a time traveler. Uh, not much different from uh, the one in the book by H.G. Wells, The Time Machine. Ka-chow, am I right? That time traveler that you loved? He's gone. 798,000 years into the future without you. But Daddy! If I could time travel anywhere, I'd go to the ocean. The next part is level of vocabulary. Five. I love reading. Um, one of my favorite things about reading is the reading portion, and uh, what's so great about reading is Your perfect body towards the human incarnation of a baby The main character is an adventurer at heart who relies on strict observation to relay information around him. It isn't until later in the novel where he becomes attached to some of the L.Y. that he realizes the species is capable of human-esque connections, including the pain of loss. My name is Lawrence Black. And I am Jeremiah White. And today we want to talk to you about the time machine, the best of all sports. Oh yes, when you go back in time to play sports, 
there's nothing better because sports are sporty than sport-like. Yeah, but in this instance, they didn't actually go backwards. They went forwards to year over 800,000. That's a new world record to, of time travel. Because going backwards in time breaks the theory of relativity put in place by Albert Einstein. The book. As for character style, I think he wears the same pair of clothes the entire time. So I wouldn't say very stylish, but you know, that's probably if I was to recommend it, the reason I give it one and a half thumbs up. Because there's no dinosaur. Time travel? Oh, Time I travel not. doesn't exist. Did I not tell you to take a seat? I'm gonna invite some dinner guests over and tell them all about my adventure. Take a seat? My butt's a hand! Look! So is mine, but it's just a euphemism or something like that. Back in the 1800s, it was the Reconstruction. That means the government was putting out propaganda left and right, including H.G. Wells, the time machine. Time travel is just a figment of your imagination, just like taxes. Hi, and welcome to Styrofoam Poles with me. You know, it's not for everyone. That's it. That's all. Alright guys, sorry I had to go drop off Luis, but how's it looking? How's it turn out? We are so failing this project. Taking your way in the world today takes everything you've got. Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? What are you still doing here? It's over. Go. Go on. <laughs>